So, augmented reality is just around the corner. The major hurdles of internet speeds, mobile processing, and camera access in the browser has been solved. It's now a competition of creating content. And just like WordPress democratized website creation, Hololink uh, is democratizing augmented reality. And to do this, we developed a one-stop shop for creation and publishing of interactive augmented reality experiences for brands, agencies, and publishers. Um, and our solution requires no coding and makes the experiences instantly accessible on any device through the built-in web browser. We are a team of a CTO, full-stack developer, a data scientist, uh, a designer, business developer, um, and myself, the CEO, and our CMO, Anna. And in only 15 months, we received more than 200 early access signups from small agencies around the world, all the way up to Fortune 500 companies. We've done beta testing with Fortune 500 companies like SAP and Discover Education, and have developed our own proprietary image tracking algorithm. Currently, we're taking part in the world's biggest startup accelerator, Techstars, in Europe's startup capital, Tel Aviv, and we'll be launching our platform in the fall. Um, our business model is just as simple as our platform. It's free to get started using the platform for testing and prototyping. And once customers are ready to scale their content, they buy a monthly subscription tailored to their needs. Augmented reality is currently a $33 billion industry. But what's more exciting is that according to PVC, the industry is gonna grow 10 times over the next five years. Our competitors are either focused on creating no coding platforms or web-based distribution. Hololink differentiates by tackling both issues. And we talked to over hundred companies in order to create the simplest yet most powerful platform to solve their needs. So the Hololink platform is the easiest way to create and publish interactive augmented reality experiences powering the world's next mass medium. My name is Lucas Nygaard. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hololink, and I'm looking forward to connect with VCs and business angels for our upcoming seed round in September. Thank you. So wonderful. It's really amazing. <laughs> Even <laughs> Thanks. A few minutes. My congratulations. Thanks. Uh, you judges, I see uh, Roman. Do you want to ask something? Yeah, Lucas, hi. Uh... What is the, who is the final customer and uh, what is your go-to-market approach generally? Yeah, so the end user, uh, we're looking into two industries, uh, education and technology and the advertising industry. So for the advertising industry, the final customer is uh, the consumer uh, that the brand uh, or agency is trying to communicate to. Uh, in EdTech, it's obviously uh, students, mainly K-12. Um, and our go-to-market strategy is that we are um, actively looking up to, to create uh, partnerships. We are currently in discussions with the Amazon, Microsoft and Lenovo and have uh, a, a, um, a couple of uh, 3D content creators that we're also looking to create uh, partnerships with. Lucas. Uh... Can I understand, uh, do I understand correct that Techstars accepted you to you to their program without uh, MVP yet? Yeah, you don't have MVP. Oh yeah, we have an MVP. We, we built an, uh, an early alpha uh, that we, that was what we beta tested with Discover of Education and SAP. And now we are building the, uh, what's going to be the, the final product. And that's what we're launching in the fall. So we have a fully functioning alpha of our platform. Mm. Why, why Israel? Do they have special program for AR there in Israel? Uh, in, AR is interesting. The, the most funded AR startup called Magic Leap is Israeli. Uh, that's mm. one reason. Uh, the other reason is that, uh, as you probably know, Israel is this startup capital of Europe with 
more VC uh, money being invested, uh, I, I think, than in any other European uh, country. Okay. So it's the the startup ecosystem, the investments, and uh, the people we're working with from Techstars and Tel Aviv are just amazing. Okay, thank you. Okay. Lucas, Lucas, this is Yunlong from Wixas, and uh, have you got hi? Have you got any investment already? Yeah, we uh, closed a pre-seed round with the uh, Techstars and uh, an American business angel called Greg Moga. Um, yes. He has a lot of experience in the media industry and sits on the advisory board of National Geographic. Okay. Okay. And how much you need now? Um, we we're looking to raise a seed round. We haven't uh, finalized the details yet. This is mainly just to to okay. connect and build relationship with investors. But uh, a rough estimation would be between one and two million dollars. Okay. Okay.